the owner of a top New York French brasserie has revealed he has dropped his ban on James Corden, claiming the star rang him up apologizing profusely for yelling like crazy at staff over an omelette. Balthazar chain owner Keith McNally, 71, had earlier hit out at the Gavin and Stacey Ryder, 44, on Instagram, claiming a waiter was left shaken after James was upset that the egg white was mixed with the yolk in his omelette. The Late Late Show host shouted to the server, according to Keith, You can't do your job. You can't do your job. Maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelette myself. Now, Keith has said he has dropped his ban, claiming to have had a frank conversation with James who issued a groveling apology over the phone. Taking to Instagram, he wrote, James Corden just called me and apologized profusely. Having FD up myself more than most people, I strongly believe in second chances. So if James Corden lets me host his Late Late Show for nine months, he'll immediately rescind his ban from Balthazar. No, of course not. But. Anyone magnanimous enough to apologize to a deadbeat layabout like me, and my staff, doesn't deserve to be banned from anyway. Especially Balthazar. So come back to the five and dine, Jimmy Corden, Jimmy Corden. All is forgiven. 20 Keith's followers soon took to their comments section, giving their take on the situation, nice ending to an unpleasant story and impressive James Corden called to apologize. Another typed, he should go in there and apologize to the staff and give them a huge tip. A third chimed, hope he comes back and tips the wait staff a ton of money. The restaurateur, who opened the Soho branch in 1997, had earlier called James a gifted comedian but a cretin of a man in a furious Instagram post. Keith, who owns restaurants around the world, including London, shared two separate reports from managers of his Balthazar eateries, where one claimed he was extremely nasty to one waiter and demanded a round of drinks after finding hair in his food. Another report claimed Corden yelled like crazy at a waiter after a mix-up with his wife's order, leaving the server shaken. In the lengthy Instagram post, Keith wrote, James Corden is a hugely gifted comedian, but a tiny cretin of a man. And the most abusive customer to my Balthazar servers since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. Keith added the 86D the Late Late Show host, which is slang for throwing someone out or refusing to serve a customer. He explained, I don't often 86 a customer, to today I 86D Corden. It did not make me laugh. Here are two examples of the funny man's treatment of my staff. He behaviored similarly in my former restaurant, Café Luxembourg, a few years back. Sick, the restaurant owner then shared tool-edged reports filed by managers working at his eateries, recalling interactions with James. The first read, in June, James Corden was here on table 61. Although this is diabolical, it happens very occasionally in all restaurants. After eating his main course, Corden showed the hair to Balthazar manager G. Who was very apologetic. Corden was extremely nasty to G, and said, get us another round of drinks this second. And also take care of all of our drinks so far. This way I write any nasty reviews in Yelp or anything like that. The second read, James Corden was at Balthazar with his wife on October 9th for brunch. He asked for a table outside. Brunch mater D. Ali Walters took the party to table 301. Mr. Corden's wife ordered an egg yolk omelette with Gruyere cheese and salad. A few minutes after they received the food, James called their server, M. 
Ann told her there was a little bit of egg white mixed with the egg yolk. M. K. informed the floor manager, G. The kitchen remade the dish but unfortunately sent it with home fries instead of salad. That's when James Corden began yelling like crazy to the server, You can't do your job. You can't do your job. Maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelette myself. M. K. was very apologetic and brought G. Over to the table. He returned the dish, and after that, everything was fine. He gave them promo champagne glasses to smooth things out. G said that Corden was pleasant to him but nasty to the server. MK was very shaken, but professional that she is, continued to finish her shift. A representative for James Corden has been contacted for comment.